When you go to Gettysburg, you automatically think of the Civil War. But what about the spirits and the dead that still remain here on these lands today? Just behind me is one of, a, one of the many paranormal hotspots of Gettysburg. What appears to be an innocent covered bridge in a peaceful, sunny picnic rest area for daygoers turns into a traumatizing nightmare to those who seek the souls trapped at this very bridge. Although no battles were fought on this bridge, it doesn't stop the disturbing offense that happened here. This bridge was once used as a field hospital for the Confederates, and two Confederates were also hung on this bridge for desertion. Now, not only is the bridge a main attraction here, but to my right, there lies a more evil presence. Behind me are the haunted woods, right next to Sachs Bridge. A tour guide told me and my dad once that an evil spirit lurks within these woods. And upon asking more questions, we found out that an Indian married a white woman. And the white man did not like that. So they hunted this Indian man down burned him, cut him, tortured him, and hung him on one of the big sycamore trees within the woods. We believe that this Native American is the evil presence haunting these very woods. In fact, here at Sachs Covered Bridge is where it all started for me. This place cemented the paranormal for me as I had one of my most horrifying experiences I've ever had in my entire life. One night, me and my dad came here. We had, pri we had prior investigated here other nights. We've been, about, we've been here about five different times. And we get the classic, you know, EVPs, the flashlight, all that stuff, nothing too major. One night, me and my dad pulled into the parking lot. And upon getting out of the vehicle, we were here for about maybe five minutes. We didn't even go into the bridge. We didn't even go into the woods. We were just on the road. And we got this overwhelming feeling of anger and hatred and something that wanted to hurt us. It wasn't something like it didn't want us there. It was something that wanted to hurt us. And that was enough for me and my dad who go into the scariest places in PA to leave within 10 minutes. I've never felt anything like that before in my life until that very night. And I've never felt anything so strong. I've never felt anything so evil, malevolent, ever. As a child, on my one of my very first paranormal investigations, at this exact spot, I was dressed up as a Union soldier my legs started feeling very cold, like I was standing in a cool pool of water, but only my legs, not my upper torso. So my dad got a thermometer, shone the laser in my, my chest. My chest read 80 degrees, my knees read 40 degrees. A 40 degree difference in one very spot in an open covered bridge in the middle of July. How do you explain that? You can't. I'm standing in what I personally believe to be a portal into a spiritual dimension. At night, you can see the trees, but this opening right here is like a black mouth. Anything that goes past this spot, you can't see. It's just a black circle. It looks like there's nothingness behind it. So could this be portal that this evil and malevolent spirit uses to travel between worlds or dimensions or just to come here, we don't know. Hopefully we'll find out tonight. Alright guys, so we're doing a little bit of an experiment at Sax Bridge tonight. We have my brother Aaron dressing up as a uh, Union soldier from when we were kids. We came here and we got some, some, uh, uh, costumes and, and jackets and such so he's putting on he's got the whole thing he's got the the canteen he's got the he's got the ammo pouch he's got the little cap he's got the the, the vest so when i what got the drip. he got the drip on he got the drip 
So when I went here as a kid, I actually dressed up as a Union soldier just like Aaron is. He also has a musket. Don't need it. You don't need it right now. Um, and I held this, an EMF meter. And the thing about this bridge is a little girl Excuse me. The thing about this bridge is that a little girl died in a carriage accident. Her name is Caroline, or Coraline, or whatever, whatever the heck it is. Um, and I played a little game with her with the EMF meter, and I said, you know, you know how it's green. Well, I said you can make it up to red for the highest scoring in the game, or whatever. And it was fluctuating like nuts, like nothing I've ever seen before. And in this in this uh, YouTube channel, I haven't caught anything like that ever. So. We're going to try and replicate that and hopefully we can get uh, into contact with her, get her communicating through the EMF meter. Why, I don't know why I said REMPOD, but we're going into that right now. Oh, okay, so Aaron is uh, in Union uniform right now, well, besides the pants. Um, promise you this is blue, not gray, just appears gray on night vision. So, I have an EMF meter here. And you know how that works, it spikes to red, so... What? It's like can't believe it still fits in there. Yeah, I know, right? It's this was from tight. like years ago. Look at the little man over here. <laughs> Don't flex, it'll rip Aaron. You got big old muscles. So I'm trying to contact a little girl who died in a carriage accident right on, right on this bridge here. I believe your name is Caroline. Alright, so I set up a ball here, and supposedly she likes to like move the balls and stuff. So, we have a ball set up. So, Caroline, I have a ball on the ground there for you that you can move if you'd like. And I also have uh, my little brother here, Aaron, dressed as a Union soldier. And what he has in his right hand is a little glowing green light device. And you can actually change the colors on that device by uh, touching it. So could you maybe try and play a little game with us? You touch and, and change the colors on that device for me? I understand that, um, Caroline, that you also enjoy singing nursery rhymes. Preferably your favorite would be London Bridges Falling Down. So I'm going to have my brother Aaron no way. sing this for you. What's wrong, Aaron? One second for like 50 I did. I did actually sing the London Bridges song. It was freaking cringy as heck, and I felt awkward as heck saying it in front of all those people when I was younger. But, Aaron, you gotta say it for the tubes, bro. You gotta say it. Do you know the, the, do you know the words? I don't want this to be on YouTube. Come on. Isn't yeah, it just it's something crazy. London Bridge is falling down just. Is that the only one? Here, we're going to pull up the nursery rhyme. <laughs> pull the nursery oh, rhyme up. Alright. Okay. Let's hear it. This London is Bridge is falling down, falling down, falling down. London, London Bridge is falling down. My fair lady. Build it up with iron bars, iron bars, iron bars. Build it up with iron bars, my fair lady. Iron bars will bend and break, <laughs> bend and break, bend and break. Iron bars will bend and break, my Sorry. fair lady. What? Yeah. You just do your thing. Keep saying. Build it up with silver and gold, silver and gold, silver and gold. Build it up with silver and gold, my fair lady. London Bridge is falling down, falling down, falling down. London Bridge is falling down. M Y F A R L A. No, no, it's just my lady. You don't have to spell it like that. Do I have to repeat? Did song? you did you like that song? If you like the song, light up the box in his hand. Can you change the colors in that box on that black box in his hand? Change the light from green to yellow. Can you do that? If you want to use that musket there, 
and go and fight more of the Union soldiers. Light that red light up. You, you light that red light up. You can you can use that you can use that musket. There you go. Can you see that from your camera, Dad? There you That's go. Can you see that? Yeah. Okay. Good. So you want to use that musket? Go ahead. Light it up. Light it up more. Thank you. Oh, look at the flashlight. Look at the flashlight. Flashlight's on. Everything's on. Here we go. All right. So that musket. That looks pretty good to you. Yeah. Man, now stand like over there. Okay. Keep it going, man. Keep it going. Let's get that musket Back to going. Where you Show us how to load it. Can you look? Can you load that musket? Load that musket for us. If you light those lights up, light them all the way up. Light them all the way up. You can use that musket. Go shoot some Union. That light has not been on. Go shoot some Federals. Way. You know, Meade, Meade is in charge of the Army now. I don't believe Meade's going to, I believe Meade's going to be a cautious man. I don't believe he's going to, going to move real fast. You grab that musket, you can go push the action. Get that musket. Light that light up. Get that musket. There you go. Holy crap. That is awesome. Well done. Well done, soldier. Of all the investigations we've done, the past two actually, we've gotten stuff on that. Beautiful. Well done. Come on, let's let's make it beep again. Can make it beep again Aaron, for us? Aaron, you got caps with on you? Yeah, he has it on the gun, I thought. Aaron's gonna Aaron's gonna load that weapon for you. If you light it up one more a time, second white you give us a good get it beeping. Can I read that shooting Aaron? Can you make that beep? <laughs> make it beep again, and we'll load that musket for you. You can take out some more federals. Do it. Do it. Hmm? Can I get the die? No. <laughs> You're going to die, Aaron. Light the box up if you want me to die. <laughs> You're dead as hell. You're dead. Load it up. Load the weapon. He just wants to kill me. You ask. Don't whisper. Talk. You ask the question. Now you gotta load the weapon. That was part of the deal, right? Yeah. There you go. Just up in blue. Oh, shit! It went to orange. Did, is that because you set it down though? Sometimes it like if you move it. Grandpa's beeping. Nothing was happening for four minutes. I know. Well, that's usually how it goes. It's loaded. So this man was a Confederate. I would say this. This man is a Confederate soldier. So we're talking uh, Confederate soldier. He wants to. He wants to fire that weapon. There you go. You're a Confederate soldier. You want to hear that what that weapon fire? There you go, light, flashlight lit up when I, when I asked it if he wanted to fire that weapon, he lit the flashlight. You got a Confederate up. soldier wanting to shoot my brother dressed as a Union right now. Alright sir, can you maybe, the, the gun's cocked and loaded, could you maybe pull the trigger for us? Could you make that gun fire? Is everything okay? Yeah. What if... Can you pull the trigger if I have it pointed at him? My hands away from everything. Can you pull this trigger, sir? Can you fire. Can you shoot this enemy of yours? If you wanna shoot if you wanna shoot that man and you can't pull the trigger. Make our REM pod beep over there, like you've been doing, and I'll tell us you want him shot. Shoot him. Go ahead, sir. Fire. Shoot him, Sean. Should I do it? Yeah. Am I supposed to play dead or something? Just no. And yeah. As soon as you pull that trigger, it stops. That is true. That's true. I didn't mess up, Aiden. You know, pretty much. Cap's not going off. Here, let me try. Put the cap in. Oh, you got it. Yeah, I 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 got
How does it feel to be dead, sir? Dead as hell. It's cold. Is it cold? Be sorry for your loss. And wet, like your basement? Probably. No. <laughs> no. No. That's true, though. When I when I fired that musket off, that REM pod shut off. That's that's kind of crazy. Um, that's nuts, actually. That's kinda, wow. What are the coincidences? Uh, coincidences of that. That is that's something that I don't I don't think that's random. Whoa! Flashlight's on. Flashlight's on. Sir, could you please stop touching the REM pod for us? Could you stop touching that red light? Can you turn that off? Can you make it stop beeping for us, sir? Thank you. On command. Look at that. Yes, sir. Now I'm all the way over here. There is no one around it. Let's turn that on or off. All right. We loaded the gun again, sir. Hopefully it works. And we're gonna try, try it. We had some wet powder. You know how that works. So, uh, you want the, you want this union man to get shot? Let's light that, let's light that REM pod up, that red light, get it beeping, make some noise here, we're going to execute this man, he's a traitor to the south. Aim the gun, Aiden. If you want him gone, if you want, if you want us to fire, light everything up, I want to see everything light up. Make that beep to execute that, that man. Light. Make that red light light up, make it beep. Affect the green light if you can. Can you turn that red light on? Can you make it beep again? If you want him to pull that trigger, make it beep. Kill the enemy. Flash light like pulsed. Did you like that light that light up? If you let if you let that Whoa. light light up. What? I just saw like, was there like a bug in front of that, that light down there? On the camera? On what? the camera with Aiden? Aiden's camera? Um, uh, I did see a bug over there. Because I saw like what appeared to be like a black shadow like move across the bridge. Oh? So what? maybe it was the shadow of the bug? But I kid you not, it was like this. Maybe. Did you catch it? I was kind of pointed at Aaron. I don't know. Maybe. Hopefully. Sir, could you tell us why you're setting it off? Is there something you want us to do? Turn it on if it's something if there's something you want us to do. Turn it on. Make it beep again. Or are we talking to a different spirit this time? Is this someone else? Can you make it beep if it's someone else? What? Felt really weird. What do you mean? Weird how? I don't know. You're going to be, Aaron, I just hope you know that you're going to be targeted by these spirits. Cause yeah, Aaron, I know. My back was freaking out. It feels yeah. like someone was watching me over there. That's why I walked over there. Because I thought someone was like sneaking at us through the bushes. Let's go see what it feels like over there. I, mean, it's not I don't like it. Okay. I want to try a spirit box session again. Yeah. Is there someone with us right now? Sound like me, did it not? That will eat. Who am I speaking to right now? I'll go back with the sleep with this. Is there something bad in those woods over there? Something evil? Malevolent? I mentioned the evil in the woods and animals start tweaking out. That's... Okay. Yeah. I think I it's can't good. see anything on the video, but yeah, that is weird. 
Taguchi. That's like the most noise they've made all night. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's crazy. What do you see? It's like a low hum coming from I back there. That. Like a when you said sh listen, I heard something. It it sounds like like chanting or a low a low humming noise. And earlier when we came down here, I swear to God, I heard like a like a coming from this this way. Dude, I've got my arms or I'm feeling something. I'm feeling my whole body is a goosebump. I'm starting telling you right now. I feel it's starting to change, man. It's changing. Yeah. It, it's ramping up. Whatever is here, it's charging up. I'm cold. Hold this. I'm freezing so I can focus. My God. Something. The owl's going ballistic over there. This is a different vibe from before. This doesn't feel right. I mean, they're right over here, you know, I should feel alright. It's like staring into a dark, black abyss of just nothing. Like, you can't tell right now, but like, that hole is just black. There's nothing, it looks like nothing exists beyond that fucking void. Almost like a portal into a different world, into the spiritual realm. And they say that something e evil lurks within these woods. And my dad and I came to face to face with that very thing. If there's something in these woods, I want you to give me a sign. It looks like just like a perfect circle. Yeah, yeah into just a dark abyss of nothing. Like, if I didn't know there was woods there, like, I would think nothing existed beyond it. What Dude. the fuck? Guys? Guys, there's something in these woods. It could be an animal, but still. It could be that coyote you heard. But if we're making noise and yelling, animals wouldn't come toward us, would they? They wouldn't. Yes. Crashed. Is there something in these woods? Give me a sign. Stop whispering. And I'm at the bottom of the bridge now, guys. I don't know why I said guys. Now the old bridge washed away. And the new bridge that you see now was built higher than the previous one. So what they say, say that you see light anomalies from under the bridge. Because the old bridge was lower. Then when I stare into here... Did you hear that? A bat chirping? No, it was a bang. I still don't think we should mess with it. No, I'm staying back a ways. Yeah. Dad's the expert. Mm -hmm. Father, what do you think we should do? You're not gonna see me walk down there. What? The last what? thing I want is to wake up with me locked in the attic and strapped somewhere. I don't have an attic. Oh, what you do? <laughs> I don't want to teleport me. Did you hear something? Yeah. Like, or like a voice, like. It sounds like a woman's voice. Alright, should I fat balls it and just put that over there alone? If you want to run it over there quick. If you want to die. So I know for a fact I'm not okay. going for an exorcist. Alright, I'm growing some fat nuts here. Oh, good boy. Something tells me I shouldn't be doing this shit. Step away. 
Aiden, come here. No, no. Come walk down here with me. No. I'm just putting you right in the opening right here. Come here. I'm not walking into the trail. No, come here. Fat nuts. I ain't getting possessed, I'm building with him. Alright. There's something in that trail making all those noises. Light up that red light there. Touch it. It'll turn it on. Are you circling us? Just heard something. These woods are not right, man. There's something up with these. This thing. Ain't right. Your leaves rustling. Did you? Like somebody walking through the leaves. Like you know how when you walk through the brush and it's on your legs. Yeah. Like whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Mhm. Mm I saw. I heard like like solid two footsteps. From from over here. From down here. I thought I just saw. Like a mist from across. I saw it with my eyes, not with my camera. But it was up in the woods. So it could have been, could have been from, uh, could have been from, like, uh, still more. Are you throwing things? What's horrifying is I heard a lady in the beginning when people were here talking about a Ouija board. Yeah, that you know what Ouija boards do, right? Yeah, I know what Ouija boards do, and none of it's good. They open up a portal. Yeah. And when a portal is open, whether it be Gosh. on the bridge, there's an airplane. In the way. Whether it be on the bridge or in the woods, wherever they did that Ouija board. Uh, board that opens up a portal, a portal that cannot be closed unless done by a psychic medium and once that portal is open anything can walk through, it doesn't have to be confederate soldiers or union soldiers, it can be demons elementals, anything in that spiritual realm can cross through that, that, that portal and once a reckless teenager or adult or any idiot plays with an Ouija board and doesn't do it properly, properly, that portal can stay open forever. And anything can come and go as it pleases. And what I think is that someone messed with an Ouija board, either on this bridge or in those woods, and whatever came through made those woods its home. That's what I believe. My right body, my right side of my body is getting cold. Like my, like my face and neck area, my arm. I go to my right side, yeah, my, my, even my, my, outside of my calves, like the front, like towards the chin area, like measure the right side of my body and measure the left side of my body. Your arm is like 76. What's my left arm? Oh wait, no, it's like 60. Yeah, that's like the arms, basically. I heard something in there. Alright, so unfortunately Aiden and I didn't get here till like 1. So this is a wrap for the first day. Um, we're doing 3 days worth, uh, worth of just straight ghost hunting in Gettysburg. So this is a wrap on day 1. And I will see you guys on day 2. Peace out. All right, what's up guys? It's time for some one-on-one -on -one time with your favorite uh, ghost hunter and vlogger, Aiden. All right, listen. All this ghost hunting and filming, getting all this amazing content for you guys is not cheap, okay? So here's what I need you to do, okay? I need you to go find your parents' wallets or, you know, purses or whatever, whatever, you know, it could even be, 
you know, an aunt or an uncle. It could just be an adult that you know. It could just be anybody. It could just be the guy uh, at the supermarket when he's not paying attention. Okay, go in there, get the credit card, okay? Then there's going to be a link in the description, all right? I need you to click that link, go make a donation. You can even, you know, sign up and make, you know, monthly donations, okay? Just whatever you feel you know, whatever you feel like, and, uh, and, and, you know, don't tell anybody about this, okay, don't tell your parents that I told you to do this, they don't need to know, okay, it's top secret, you know, parents, you know, if you, if you ask them if ghosts are real, you're gonna be like, oh, no, no, it's not real, okay, they don't believe in it, okay, they don't need to know about this, okay, so, or, or, okay, you can, uh, you can email us, there's gonna be an email, you can email a picture of the credit card, and some other uh, information, and, uh, you can really help us out here, okay? I know you guys love the channel. I know this is content is great. You love it, and uh, that would really help us out. So yeah. Anyway, go ahead and do that. Um, and like I said, don't tell anybody that I told you to do this because it's top secret. I'm currently being carjacked. Ah!